Okay, so there's layers to this question. There's language layers, there's biology layers, there's lore layers. We're gonna get into all of it. What type of animal is Captain Cuttlefish? Splatoon is a game primarily about inklings, creatures that can change from a squid form to a human-like form. There's also octolings, same thing, but with octopuses. As of now, which is March 2023, there is no official information in the games about cuttlefish, another type of real-life cephalopod relative of the squids and octos. However, there is a major character who goes by the name Craig Cuttlefish, aka Captain Cuttlefish in English, which would imply that he is a cuttlefish, like how Octo Expansion's sea cucumber is a sea cucumber. But shouldn't he be a squid though? I mean, his grandchildren are the squid sisters, and granted they aren't actual sisters, but I'm pretty sure they're actual squids. Or are they? Well, before we get ahead of ourselves, what is the difference between a squid and a cuttlefish? What the heck even is a cuttlefish? Okay, so biology time. Squids and cuttlefish actually have a lot more in common than they have different. As I said, they are both cephalopods, a soft-bodied marine animal group that also includes octopus and nautilus. That's what gnarly eddy is, by the way. But unlike those two groups, squid and cuttlefish have 10 arms total eight regular arms, and two tentacles, which are long and used for snatching up prey. Now, cephalopods are interesting in that their ancestors had shells, but most of the living cephalopods have evolved to kinda lose their shell. They like being squishy guys. But because of this evolutionary history, squid and cuttlefish retained a remnant of a shell, a hard structure inside of their bodies. And this structure defines the main difference between these guys. Squid have something called a pen, inside. It kind of looks like a feather. It's pretty thin and flexible. The cuttlefish have a cuddle bone. It's not really a bone, but it's bigger than a pen. It's more oval and it has chambers that fill with air or water to control buoyancy. These inside structures are the defining difference between these animals. And obviously that difference is not going to appear in Splatoon unless the game gets really gruesome all of a sudden. So we look to some of the other differences. Squids are zippy, speedy guys so their bodies tend to be thin and sort of triangular. Cuttlefish are slow, they're chill, they're more stout and stubby, and they have a wide fin along the length of their body that does a little wavy thing to help them move. Squids only have fins at the top of their head. Also, a squid's eyes usually have round pupils, and cuttlefish have W-shaped pupils. These are all things that generally clue you in on which creature you're looking at, but the whole internal shell thing, that's the only way to know the difference for sure. The animal kingdom tends to have lots of exceptions when it comes to external structures. So here are some of the arguments for Captain Cuttlefish actually being a squid. Our first bit of squid evidence are his eyes. The pupils are round, not W-shaped. If I were designing a character that was specifically meant to be a cuttlefish, I would for sure give it W-shaped pupils as an obvious tell. But round eyes are kind of a default in character design, so you never know. I wouldn't say it's definitive, but it's a clear point for squid. His hair also exactly matches the default inkling boy hairstyle, which we generally assume to be a squid. In Splatoon 3, we see another side of Captain Cuttlefish, the dry form. This design is definitely giving squid. You've got the thin torpedo-shaped body and the little fins only at the very top of the head. Super squiddy. Aside from looks, Captain Cuttlefish is also the grandfather of the Squid Sisters and directly refers to himself as a squid in in dialogue. Hack dog dip and dives of my DD dope beats. Call me an old squid and I'll bring the heat. The jellyfish down here got super long necks. I'm an old squid who loves cashing checks. I thought you just said you don't like being called an old squid. It's only okay when he says it, I guess. But anyway, he calls himself a squid. I mean, it's right there. A lot of people also cite that his Japanese name makes no reference to cuttlefish. It's Commander Atarime. Atarime or Surime is a snack made of dried shredded squid or cuttlefish. The word can actually apply to both. More on this later. But in any case, the cuttlefish is not specifically identified in his original Japanese name, and this name might explain where the idea for his dried form came from. 
So that's neat. So that's the main evidence I've found for Captain Cuttlefish being a squid. The argument is that the localization team named him Cuttlefish for the fun alliteration, but it's just his name and not his species. I mean, just because there's an animal in your name doesn't mean you are that animal. But now let's discuss some of the arguments that he could actually be a cuttlefish. If you look at Captain Cuttlefish, he is kinda short, or at least his hunched stance kind of gives that impression. His beard sort of makes him look cuttlefishy too, if you think of that as his tentacles. There's definitely a resemblance to the sort of bunched up short arms of a cuttlefish you see while the long tentacles are hidden from view. But the dried up form kind of refutes this because the beard is still there and the tentacles are below it, clearly separate and visible. Some people have pointed out that Captain Cuttlefish's ears look longer than the average inkling, which could reference the longer fins of a cuttlefish. The squid sisters have this same ear type, which could indicate that they are all cuttlefish, and the squid sisters are in fact the cuttlefish cousins. Their pupils aren't W-shaped, but they are different. The same can be said for all the idols, though. I mentioned earlier how Captain Cuttlefish occasionally refers to himself as a squid in dialogue, but he also occasionally refers to his cuddle bones, which are the defining feature of a cuttlefish. I'm pooped. Agent 8. Gotta rest my cuddle bones here for a bit. Something tells me he doesn't say that in the Japanese, but I don't know for sure. Overall, I'd say the evidence is in favor of him being a squid. But I think that the fact that it's sort of unclear and ambiguous might be the answer in itself. Like, I'm not an expert in the Japanese language, but from my research, I've found that the distinction between a cuttlefish and a squid is just not normally made. There is one word, ika, which refers to both squid and cuttlefish as a group. In English, we don't really have that. Unless you're a scientist, then you can say decapodiformes, I guess. Obviously, there are Japanese words for specific specific species of squids and cuttlefishes, but when you're talking about 10 armed cephalopods in a general sense, you use ika. It's just not a distinction that's often made. As of the 90s at least, there isn't even a distinction made for trade quotas in the Japanese seafood industry between the two species. If you order squid at a sushi restaurant, you might even be getting cuttlefish and not realize it. All this to say, at least in Splatoon 1, my guess is that the dev team was not intentionally designing this this character to be a squid or a cuttlefish, specifically. Or any Inkling character for that matter, my guess is that Inkling is equivalent to Ika, and the specific type of Ika wasn't that important. Octolings are clearly a separate category, and octopuses have their own word in Japanese taco. So at least in the context of food, ika and taco are the two main categories. Cuttlefish are just kind of lumped into the ika, so I think Captain Cuttlefish could be either one and it's ambiguous by nature. That's just my speculation though. However, I'm not going to ignore the fact that there are theories out there about cuddlings being a future playable species in Splatoon. And I still think that could potentially happen because since Splatoon 1, the games have drawn more and more inspiration from biology, and featured more obscure creatures like the deep sea metro characters and our Nautilus shopkeeper, many of which I've made previous videos about. The lore has been built out more, the real life connections have gotten more deep, so maybe they do someday introduce cuttlefish explicitly as a specific character type in Splatoon. Or maybe they explain that they are just part of the inkling category. Now I said there's no official in-game information on cuttlefish, but the Splatoon art book Hikara Walker does introduce an idol group referred to as Koika idols. From what I can tell, unlike the word Ika, Koika does specifically refer to a cuttlefish, sort of as a subgroup to the Ika. Therefore, this picture in the art book is the closest we have to an official depiction of cuttlefish in Splatoon. These idols do have the longer ears, and their eyes are just similar to the other idols, really. Nothing about the design jumps out at me as a telltale sign of a cuttlefish character, but let me know what you think. I don't think they get us too much closer to classifying the captain, but I still think they're cool. It's so fun to see Splatoon fans debate about a character's species because it reminds me so much of what actual biologists are like when arguing about taxonomy, the categorization of species. Because that's a real thing that's happening all the time, including within the cephalopods. Just look at this quote from a 2018 scientific research study. Historically deep level relationships within 
the molluscan class cephalopoda, squids, cuttlefishes, octopods, and their relatives, have remained elusive due in part to the considerable morphological diversity of extant taxa, a limited fossil record for species that lack a calcareous shell, and difficulties in sampling open ocean taxa. Many conflicts identified by morphologists in the early 1900s remain unsolved today in spite of advances in morphological, molecular, and analytical methods. All that's saying is cephalopods are really hard to differentiate and categorize, even though we can literally do DNA tests on them now. There's this animal called a ram's horn squid. It has a hard structure on the inside that looks like a spiral, and scientists are still debating whether it's closer to a squid or a cuttlefish. Bobtail squids are a similar story. They're kind of between a squid and a cuttlefish, and scientists disagree on where exactly they go on the family tree. I just find it funny that Splatoon fans are having the same arguments as actual scientists. As for the verdict on Captain Cuttlefish, I'd say he's an Ika, an Inkling, and probably a squid. So squid with a shrug emoji, you know? I don't think it was meant to matter that much when he was created. But I guess I'm the silly goose making a video about it. Not actual goose. Please let me know in the comments what you think he is. What do you think's going on with cuttlefish in the Splatoon world? And if you're new here, hi, I'm Kiki Beth. I like video games and I have a background in ecology and biology, but I make videos on all kinds of gaming topics. So if that sounds cool to you, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.